Hey family, welcome back to my channel. This is Tukisa Mkutle and you're at Property Talk with Tukisa. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're new, you have subscribed. Wow, welcome to the family. So, Namhlanje, I'm going to show you a practical example of the things that you need to consider when you're buying a property. So, what are the public amenities that you need to spot when you look for a good investment in a suburb? One of the important things is being next to the police station. Remember, police stations are a department that serves their community by making sure that their people are safe and they're enforcing the law. So being closer to this amenity is important because it brings that sense of safety and security. So this is a plus for me. Wow, look at that nice land there that one can develop and it's closer to the to the police station so what more do you want guys and you don't get but i always always consider as well now that i'm staying in Kabeha, is proximity of the airport yo guys this for me is a bonus because i just literally drive five minutes to the airport wow and it's something that you cannot do in big cities like cape town or johannesburg people drive like Kimolo kilometers to actually access the airport. So it is very, 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 very important. And one thing I like about the suburb is the scenery of the suburb. It's nice, it's clean. People can actually jog and walk, you know, and feel safe because of the proximity of the police station. Another thing that you also need to consider is the view. People in Cape Town, they fight for this thing. You know, once you build a tall building next to a property, you can be taken to court because this adds a value to your property. So it's important that you have this kind of a view because it boosts your value of your property. Also, as just by Leglay as well, is the activities that are happening in the area. What some of the activities that I've spotted in this area is one is that it is closer to a hotel. This is a commercial development that adds value to this area because hotels they show that there's a sense of social and economic activities of a lifestyle that boost values in this area so it's important that it shows that there's growth here and secondly it's the gym center your virgin active this is a very important landmark i must say especially for young people that want to 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 look after themselves being healthy and having beautiful bodies being closer to this facility is important. And within this facility, you have your shopping centers, like your spa, spa, like your postnet, as you can see, you know, that you've got clicks, you've got all these things that are convenient for the people that stay here. So it's, it actually adds value to properties that are in here because you could say that when you advertise a property that you are closer to all these facilities, so it brings that sense of convenience for any tenant or for any investor. And also as well as this in facility, you have kept your restaurants and a filling station. This is important people. Other people, they don't consider it as important, but for me, it's a plus because I don't want to drive 10 kilometers just to, to access a filling station. This is important and within this in this filling station, you have like your car wash that you, in weekends, you can actually come and clean your car. Commercial development. Yeah, commercial development, I'm talking about offices. Offices, they show that the area is growing commercially and you're not going to struggle to get people to rent because you've got young graduates that are coming maybe into Port Elizabeth to work. So you will actually have somebody to rent your property. These are important as well. And development corridors. This is the corridor where you find a mixed use development intensity of uses such as uh, restaurant, such as residential, such as offices, and so forth and so forth. So development corridors get connected again because I've always talked about the access to public transport. It is important, I'm telling you, because one of the things that tenants wants to know is how far are you to the bus station? Because not all of us can afford to actually have a car. So consider these things as well because they add and boost your value and don't have to struggle to find people to rent. Public transport route is a development corridor. Wherever you find a development corridor, you're going to find public transport. So these are the important things. Like, for instance, you can see there are hotels as well. There. So this is why I'm saying it's a development corridor because of the nice intensity of uses and mixed uses within this corridor. And also, it's a business node. Business node within the corridor. 
it's important. Like for instance, yeah, this is a boardwalk. This is the hub of the Port Elizabeth. People come here to chill and have a nice time and, you know, buy beautiful things and they're nice um restaurants here pubs and so forth people actually come here to enjoy themselves this is a plus as well for an investor because this is what you're gonna say when you advertise your property wow i'm come to the end of my video the beach front oh my god this is where i chill with my little ones because weekends it's time for the beach one of the things that we enjoy by people staying in the coastal area is the beach i don't have to pay for places to enjoy with my kids like the play area in some of the inland uh, cities so in the beach area i come here to chill and play with my little ones if you can see so i'm hoping this video again was very helpful and you were able to understand what it is that you have to look out for when you're buying a property. We spoke about the police station, we spoke about the proximity of the airport, we spoke about the sea view, we spoke about the hotels, we spoke about the gym centers, we spoke about the shopping centers, you know, we spoke about the corridor, we spoke about commercial development, we spoke about the business node. This is not that you have to think when you say, I'm signing this OTP, I'm buying this property, especially it is investment property. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you for watching uh, family. See you in the next See video. In the next God video. bless you. Bye.